Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community Presents, The Mini Biography of Anthony Fauci, Born 1940. Dr. Anthony Fauci has actually acted as director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases because 1984. He's ended up being a prominent leader throughout the unique coronavirus pandemic. Who is Anthony Fauci? Dr. Anthony Fauci attended Cornell Medical College prior to starting his long profession at National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID, in 1968. After taking over as NIAID director in 1984, he ended up being understood for his innovative work in HIV AIDS research study, helping to establish reliable drugs to downsize the once outsized mortality rate. Fauci later led U.S. federal government efforts to combat breakouts of the West Nile infection, SARS and Ebola, before going back to the spotlight in 2020 with the coronavirus pandemic. Early Years and Education Anthony Stephen Fauci was born on December 24, 1940, in Brooklyn, New York, the second kid of first-generation Italian-American moms and dads Eugenia and Stephen. A sports nut, he spent his days playing baseball, basketball and football, when not hectic working the cash register or making shipments for his father's drugstore. Fauci attended Regis High School in Manhattan, where he served as captain of the basketball group, before turning his focus to pre-med studies at the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts. After graduating first in his class from New York City's Cornell Medical College in 1966, he completed his internship and residency at New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center. Early career to NIA director. Fauci started his long profession at the National Institutes of Health's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in 1968, his tenure disrupted just by a stint as primary citizen at the New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center from 1970-71. A senior investigator in the Laboratory of Clinical Investigation, he began taking a credibility for his groundbreaking research study in the field of immunoregulation and established effective drug routines for previously deadly diseases such as polyarteritis nodosa, granulomatosis with polyangiitis and lymphomatoid granulomatosis. Fauci's successes fueled his professional ascent to Chief of the Laboratory of Immunoregulation in 1980, and then Director of the NIAID under President Ronald Reagan in 1984. HIV AIDS Research with HIV AIDS then mainly understood for its devastation within the gay community, the brand new NIAID director faced the dual task of persuading the administration to take the crisis seriously and convincing activists that he was not at fault for perceived federal government inaction. Fauci successfully lobbied for a boost in AIDS research study financing and forged alliances with activists by allowing access to speculative drugs even as they were being checked in medical trials. The majority of crucially, he established an understanding of how HIV attacks the human defense system, sparking the development of reliable medications to provide HIV-positive patients the opportunity to live long, active lives. Even after he nominally ceded management with the development of the Office of AIDS Research in 1994, Fauci remained plainly involved in the fight by assisting George W. Bush develop the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, which concentrated on fighting the illness in Africa and other parts of the developing world upon its launch in 2003. West Nile Virus, Ebola, and Other Diseases Following his experiences as the government face of AIDS research study, Fauci reappeared for the general public health threats that marked successive administrations, including the West Nile infection under President Bill Clinton, the anthrax scare and SARS under Bush, and the swine flu pandemic under Barack Obama. He also demonstrated an empathetic human touch when Ebola surfaced in 2014, notoriously hugging an American nurse who had actually recovered from the illness before traveling to the heart of the outbreak in Liberia for large-scale clinical trials of vaccines. Coronavirus, CDC and President Trump In January 2020, as reports of the novel coronavirus emerged from China, Fauci rapidly assembled his research team to get to work on a vaccine. Within weeks, as COVID-19 started leaving a trail of casualties throughout other nations, he dealt with colleagues at the Centers for Disease Control to prepare the American public for what was quickly acknowledged as a significant global pandemic. Fauci ended up being a fixture at news rundowns together with President Donald Trump, sometimes rebutting or tamping down the overly positive declarations. When Trump said the anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine might be a game-changer in mid-March, Fauci rejected that assertion as anecdotal. And when the president declared soon later that the nation could reopen by Easter, Fauci was among the influential voices who convinced him to ditch that timeline. The medical professional's calm however no-nonsense evaluations moved him to celebrity as the country withstood an extraordinary shutdown, though it also caused death dangers from extremists who felt he was weakening the president's authority. 
His position also occasionally placed him at odds with other members of the administration, consisting of when he rejected Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's assertion that the virus originated in a Chinese laboratory. Delivering a remote statement to the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee in May, Fauci warned that reopening the nation too quickly could cause suffering and death that could be avoided. He also got into a pointed exchange with Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who noted that others were likewise qualified to make decisions about whether it was safe to send children back to school. I have actually never ever made myself out to be the end all and just voice in this, Fauci said, adding, we do not know whatever about this virus. And we really much better be really mindful especially when it comes to kids. Awards and Honors Fauci has made a number of the most prestigious awards available to an individual in his field, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the National Medal of Science and the Mary Woodard Lasker Award for Public Service. In 2019, he was among the inaugural class inducted into the Government Hall of Fame. Fauci also has actually been granted 45 honorary doctoral degrees from universities worldwide and belongs to such organizations as the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Medicine, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the American Philosophical Society. Other have Christine Grady and family. Fauci met Christine Grady, now Chief of the Department of Bioethics at the NIH Clinical Center, when she was a young nurse at the NIH, and her future spouse needed her assistance to equate for a Portuguese-speaking patient. They were wed in 1985 and have three children, Jennifer, Megan, and Allison. Individual Interests Fauci, who lives in Washington, D.C., established a reputation around the Capitol for his grueling 16-hour workdays and seven-mile lunchtime runs, though he confessed to toning the latter to around three and a half miles when the coronavirus outbreak hit. The medical professional is stated to take pleasure in fishing, tennis, cooking and art in his restricted spare time.